After using a 35% coupon, you paid $52 for a set of headphones. What is the original price for the headphones before the coupon? So what we're going to need to do here is identify our key information. After using a 35% coupon, we paid $52, and we're looking for the original price. Now, what this means is we don't know what 100% is. That's actually what we're looking for. So we want to know what the original price was before this coupon. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out first, what percent are we paying for the headphones? So of course, the original price would have been 100%. And we're taking 35% away from that. So I'm going to subtract that by 35, and that's going to give me 65%. So what this means is that $52 is 65% of the original price. So I've, I'm going to have $52 over our 65% here. Now, of course, I want to lead myself to figure out what 100% is. So I'm going to need to find a common factor between 65 and 100. Now, of course, we're going to know this is 5. So we're first going to find 5%. That's going to help us get to 20%. So if I try to find the scale factor between 65 and 5, that means I'm going to divide by 13 in this example. So I'm going to do the same thing with my $52. Divide that by 13. So 52 over 13 is going to give me 4. So I know 5% of, of these headphones is uh, $4. And now I just need to go from 5% to 100%, which is what we all know is 20. 4 times 20 is going to give me $80. So I know that the original price for these headphones was $80.